Take a break from your busy schedule and join Harold Sala for Guidelines, a five-minute commentary on living. The dark days of December can be a catalyst which brings to the surface all the negative thoughts that have brewed in the kettle of physical weariness and despondency. I couldn't help thinking of that when I encountered three individuals who struggled with the demon of depression at the same time. One was a respected musician and Christian leader, the composer of many hymns and songs with a list of theatrical credits almost as long as he was old. He barricaded himself in the church office during Christmas week and ended his life with a gunshot to the head. The same week, a renowned pediatric heart surgeon, one of the finest in the world, unable to climb out of the pit of depression, took his life. This brilliantly gifted doctor had performed 830 operations on children in 18 months with a 2% mortality rate. He had been featured on television documentaries He was worshipped by his patients. He was 45. The third in this dark trilogy is a friend of many years, also a doctor, a cardiologist who has spent her life helping people, along with her husband, a surgeon. Both served as medical missionaries. The third is recovering, but depression for the first two was fatal. Whenever the world, to say nothing of our families and close friends, is deprived of the presence of so great an individual, it is a massive collective loss. We pass laws to protect people. We monitor our water, our food, and our borders to ensure safety. But laws or boundaries cannot protect us from the darkness of depression. Elderly people whose health has failed and who have little to look forward to are classic sufferers with depression. But today it is not only the elderly, but those in the middle years with success and significance. Why does this happen? What can be done to prevent it? No one could answer those questions in two minutes. Depression is complex. It is not a lack of spirituality or a deficiency in comprehending God's plan or purpose for your life. Christians as well as non-believers suffer, though I am confident that there are resources which can help the believer survive whereas others give up entirely on life. Every person is a composite of the emotional, the physical, and the spiritual. There are times when depression is the result of a chemical imbalance in the brain, something a person is no more responsible for than those of us who wear glasses or have corrective surgery because a heart valve isn't working properly. But depression affects your thinking as you begin to doubt what you know to be true, You see darkness rather than light, and live in a funk that seems to press upon you. Telling somebody to just snap out of it is as senseless as telling a drowning individual to swim. I'm thinking of the woman who poured out her heart, tears streaming down her face as she said, God knows I would snap out of it if I only knew how. Surrounding an individual who is encountering depression with understanding Compassion and strength is a beginning in helping to build a fence that can save the life of someone you love and restore health and sanity. Ignoring those who hurt or trivializing the problem only makes it worse. God is not indifferent to those who suffer, whether it is a brilliant surgeon, a gifted teacher or intellectual, or a gray-haired grandfather who has worked a steady job over the years, whose health has failed and whose mental equilibrium has gone on strike. There is both help and hope for the one who is depressed. The road back may be long and painful, but there is a way out of the darkness. You've just heard Dr. Harold Sala with Guidelines, a five-minute commentary on living. If you would like to listen to the program again, Download a copy, subscribe to our e-commentary, or view other resources. Visit guidelines.org. We would like to hear from you, too. You can email us at info at guidelines.org. That's info at guidelines.org. Thanks for listening, and we invite you to join us again for the next edition of Guidelines. Guidelines.